Hey guys, great to have you here today. And I've got three very simple tricks or hacks that you can use to start playing better golf right away. And the first one is using a simple door wedge. This is what you'd cram under your door to keep the door open. I've carried this in my golf bag for years, giving lessons. And all you're gonna do here is you're gonna set up to this golf ball. And what this is really good for is if I put this under my right foot, which I'll do just in one second here, it helps me to keep from swaying. So one of the things I see people do is they tend to sway a lot, meaning in the backswing, their hips kind of slide or sway to the right. That gives me a little bit of a reverse pivot. And then in the downswing, I kind of counteract that by falling back away from the target. I can feel my upper body leaning this way and then I fall away from it. Leads to a lot of inconsistency. So I'm gonna set up as though I'm gonna hit this golf ball and then I'm just gonna rotate my right foot in and, and kind of cram that wedge under kind of the outside ball of my foot. Now what that does is as I go to the top of the swing, that keeps my hips from sliding. That kind of wedges me in here so that I don't slide. Now my head's staying a lot more stable over top of the ball. And then number two, instead of falling back on my downswing, it helps me to push off of that and get all the way to that good full finish with my chest facing the target. So put that wedge under your right foot, just under the ball of your foot there. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can do more or little, wedge under there more if you need a little extra support, just a little bit if you need a little bit less. That's gonna help me to keep from sliding and then to really finish my swing. All right, so number two. I can also use this same wedge to help clear my hips out of the way in the fall through. So when you're rotating your hips coming through, a lot of times I'll see players that stop using their hips and they use a lot of hands and arms. What we're gonna do is work on pushing down and out with this left foot to clear those hips out of the way. All I'm gonna do here now, let's go ahead and set up to another golf ball that way I can get the feel for where I need to be. I'm gonna take that same wedge and push it under my toe on my lead foot. Now, as I push into this wedge on the downswing, that's gonna clear my hips out of the way and it's gonna help me to get to a good full finish. So if you struggle rotating through the shot, this is gonna be great for you. My only swing key here is to just push against that wedge as soon as I start my downswing. There we go. Hit that one great. All right, so golf hack number two. I'm gonna use this towel to make sure I'm hitting down and through the ball, really compressing the golf ball. What I wanna do is I can just roll a towel once so it sticks up about a half inch off the ground. And I wanna put my golf ball a good six inches in front of that. So what I wanna do here is miss this towel, come down and through, hit my golf ball clean, and then I'm really gonna feel like I'm kind of pinching that golf ball against the club face. So I got some forward shaft lane, I'm really leading, leading with these hands, and I'm gonna make that good full finish just like I did on the last swing. Let's go ahead and give that a whirl. There we go, nice and solid. Hit that one right at the flag. Now if I do this incorrectly and I start to flip a little bit, what'll end up happening is I start to catch this towel and all of a sudden I really whack it pretty hard. If you use a small towel, it's a little bit easier. It's not gonna get all tangled up if you happen to hit it, but this gives you direct feedback so you can make that nice down and through swing and really compress the golf ball. All right, golf hack number three, the dreaded hosel rocket. Nobody likes hitting these off the hosel, getting that shank over in the woods. That can be really embarrassing. If you ever catch the shanks, one of the best things to do is roll up a towel and put the ball very close to the edge of that towel. So if I swing and I was to hit that hosel, I would just hit this entire towel here. Now, there's a couple other keys that I want you to work on here. I want you to feel like, as you set up, this is very counterintuitive, but I want you to feel like you slide that golf club all the way against the toe, all the way against the towel. So I'm actually lining up with that ball on the hosel of the club as I'm at address. Now, naturally, your body's pretty smart. If you line up, if you start to shank a couple, you line up way out here on the toe, and what's your body say? Your body says, well, I'm not gonna hit it way off the toe. As I make my swing, I'm gonna swing out to this ball to try to hit it on the center. So you're actually moving the hosel closer to the ball. If I flip that around, I put this towel on the outside, I put my hosel against the, the ball, I put the toe of my club against this towel. Now my body, again, pretty smart, says, okay, when I make my downswing, I'm gonna be swinging more back into my body. Your hosel's working towards you. If anything, you might hit a little bit too much on the toe when you're doing this, but that's okay if you're struggling with the shanks. So go ahead and set up good posture. Put that towel where it's very close, only a half inch to three quarters of an inch outside of your club if you were to hit it dead solid. And I'm gonna start with the toe of that club against this towel. As I swing, I'm gonna pull the toe more toward me and I'm gonna hit a good, nice clean shot. There we go, guys. That's gonna help you to get rid of those shanks, hit them a lot more solid. 
All right, so we went over some great hacks that are gonna help you to, to hit better today. What if we wanna build that long lasting swing, that swing where we can generate a ton of club head speed, out drive our friends, feel like we're playing to the top of our potential. Everybody wants to do that. Well, I got a great bonus video. It's my number one lag drill. I think lag is so important to be able to create that angle and let this club do the work rather than trying to muscle through with your body. You're letting that club generate the speed. And I'm gonna play a preview of that video here in a second. Just click the link on the screen or the, or excuse me, the link below the video or the card, the iCard that pops up on the screen. You'll get instant access to that video. You'll start building lag today and you guys are really gonna crank up your distance. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be.